pretty exciting. Um, it's it, like the city itself has got a great energy. It's really like a buzzing city, and to um, just to be a part of the festival as well. Like on top of that, is it's pretty awe-inspiring. You know, the, uh, there's a great bunch of films here. Um, there's a really diverse uh, bunch of films, and and um, uh, you know, our film is a kind of a for the regular audience. It's a you know popcorn type. Uh, audience movie and um, we wanted to make a thrilling entertaining film so to to be accepted into kind of like a really prestigious festival as London Film Festival was um, it was yeah we were, we were presently we were very surprised and, and happily surprised I've looked at the um, I, because we came late uh, in the week uh, because we just finished our films opening in Australia and we just finished uh, doing all our press uh, screenings and, and, and doing a tour so I literally got on a plane and, and, and came for my screening so I haven't seen the other films but I've read up on them and there's there's a there's there's a there seems to be a lot of BFI supported films which is great and um, there's a real diverse bunch in there and um, and you know having our film in there it, it does kind of signify that there is this support of all different types of films and yeah, I'm really excited by that. Obviously Son of a Gun has already had a huge response and it's getting lots of love. And um, what's that like as a director? Um, well, you know, it's for me, uh, I'm, I'm more interested in what, you know, your kind of regular audience, uh, 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 their response. And they've been strongly supporting the film on Twitter and getting behind the film. and. And that makes when I when I um, when I see that popping up on the uh, on the internet, I get a real thrill and buzz out of it. When you get um, someone who's uh, not a traditional reviewer or anything, they just just love films and they they go and see your film and they they go, I love this film, and that that makes you feel good. Last question, then. Obviously, you and McGregor, and what was it like working with him? You and McGregor, he's uh, he's like such an iconic uh, actor, and he was. Um, uh, you know, he came came into the film with no kind of you know usual trappings of the star sort of mentality. He was just very humble and down to earth. And you know, it's my first film, and he made me feel like I knew what I was doing in every corner. So um, and and helped not only myself but also the rest of the cast. Um, you know, do the best job they could. And you know, he's very experienced. He's like done 50 films, and this is my first. So uh, yeah, he was um, he was very kind to me in that way. Well, we feel like we, we've, uh, we're in a surreal experience, yeah. don't we? Well, who are they clapping up for? Me! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's quite surreal, it's very pleasurable. We're looking forward to uh, having a, uh, a nice time inside these walls that we've never been in before. <laughs> uh, it's, quite, it's always quite weird to be part of a, a competition, I think, to be in competition with other films because it's a, a scary thing. But um, yeah, no, very, very pleased that we're part of that competition and Florence up for Best Newcomer and the film up for Best Film. What's that like to be nominated for Best Newcomer? You know, it's still a bit of a shock. Now, I remember when Carol told me, I kind of screamed for about 20, maybe 30 minutes. Um, but even if I lose or whatever, yeah. I'm not expecting anything because this has already been a privilege anyway. So being here tonight is mainly in support of the film and I'm very excited that it, it's in the official competition. And um, I hope we're gonna have fun. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we're, we're both kind of been based in London for the last like, eight years or so. I'm from London, Ed's from Cambridge. So yeah, this feels like a, it was a bit of a homecoming to be honest. So our, our premiere on Saturday night had a lot of family, a lot of friends here, and that was, yeah, it was a really kind of special moment for the film and for us, and Edwin and Grace are based here. So, um, yeah, it's great. I mean, yeah, but like Ed said at the beginning, we could only really see Edwin and Grace as our audience, you know, if they could feel anything from it and feel connected to it, then that was really our um, job done, really. We were really, that's what we were striving for. But yeah, all this is just bonus. It's, it's really great to be here. It's amazing to be up for um, an award, so let's see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been, it's been wonderful, you know, I mean, um, that we made the film. We made the film in spring of this year, um, and it was hard. And you know, um, it was a, it was quite a, it was quite a quite a, a, gru a grueling shoot at times. You know, there's lots of quite unpleasant scenes and things, but um, we're very very proud of it. And I think I personally think it's very beautiful, and particularly Alicia's performance. Yeah. So I was going to go on to Alicia next. What was it like working with her? Um, 
Yeah, amazing. She's a force of nature, but she's also, I mean, she's, she's got this wonderful um, emotional kind of availability. You know, she just feels everything that she's portraying so acutely. Um, but she's really generous too. She's a really, really generous actor and um, well, I'm wonderful to work with. Fantastic. What's it like to be here at the awards tonight? Oh yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? It's very, very exciting. It's the first time I've been to anything like this and I've already seen John Hurt, so I'm having a great time, yeah. <laughs> and also Colin Firth, your um, upcoming film with you, what's all of the buzz around that been like? Yeah, I mean it is, there really does seem to be a lot of heat about it and I think um, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be really cool. I mean, Colin, what Colin does in it, I've seen most of it is amazing and trust me, it's a far cry from uh, from Bridget Jones. A hugely successful festival this year, a hugely diverse range of films. How exactly do you go about picking what films will be featured in the festival? Well, it's one of the great pleasures of the job, really. I mean, we have 248 films in the festival. I have a team of programmers that we work with, and we have program advisors who are specialists in different regions, as well as program advisors who work across our sections, like thrill, love, dare, cult, etc. And uh, really, when we're looking at the films, we're considering all sorts of factors, the diversity of the program. We have 70 countries represented in this year's festival. Uh, we're looking at different directorial styles. We're looking to ensure we've got a lot of films directed by women. This year there's uh, 54 uh, feature films directed by women. Uh, so, you, you know, we're looking at the whole mix, but most importantly, the film has to deliver. It has to know exactly what its creative intent is and deliver on that. Well, I always love presenting the surprise film and to have been able to uh, give the audience this year something that they very much wanted in, um, in Birdman. Um, there's always a thrill when the gasp goes out in the cinema when people realise what the surprise film is. I love that moment. Uh, but there are many, many moments. Um, you, you know, every single Q&A, every single introduction feels like a rich opportunity given we have over 600 filmmakers here for the festival. Obviously tonight is the London Film Festival Awards. Why do you think the awards are important to the festival? Well, the awards are important to the films, I think. They're important in terms of positioning the films. Uh, if, if, if a film is to win an award at the festival, that is really uh, something that strengthens its campaign when it then goes out to the marketplace or indeed into the award season race for the BAFTAs and the Oscars. So, uh, you, know, you know, I think our competition sections are very important in that respect. And they also really help filmmakers get other breaks. So if you're film if your first feature film has won the Sutherland Award for example that means that investors are going to take you you know very seriously and it's easier to get your second film made even if even if somebody thought another film should win we want to get to the point where we could all say all right with conversation can we all agree that this is the one that will win but actually it was easier everyone's number one pick was the same film so it was actually quite uh, simple and our deliberation for which we had two hours set aside, lasted uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, so it was a pretty clear choice, the winner, that has to be said, with a handful of excellent films that came close, but the winner was a clear winner. So it, it was it was collaborative, but we were fairly, fairly certain who should win. You've been working with Daniel Radcliffe, new film next year, what's that been like? Uh, cool, he's really nice, he's... Um, He's a really committed physical and, and emotional actor and I feel like I'm quite like that as well so we, we, we gelled quite easily and knocked each other around a lot and beat each other up a lot and, and kind of went for it a lot, you know, so it was good fun, really good fun. Uh, it's an extreme honour, it's very thrilling and exciting, you get, to, you get sent some lovely DVDs, get invited to these lovely screenings of films, of films that maybe don't always get the recognition that maybe they should because they're new and they're they don't necessarily have a big industry machine behind them, some big PR machine, and so films like, uh, that get awarded for the newcomer are exciting and interesting because they're suddenly getting a platform and getting recognised, and that's the great thing about the London Film Festival is that it gives films, emerging films and emerging talent, a platform that ordinarily uh, maybe these films wouldn't see because they don't have huge budgets and huge PR machines behind them, so something like this is extremely important, and uh, there's one of the nominees there, um, that young lady there with the pink hair. Um, so they're, yeah, they're very, very important. She's a, I mean, this young lady's a first time actress, you know, it's her first film, Catch Me Daddy, so. Without giving away too much, I'm sure you can't give away anything at all. Is there anything 
is there anything this year that's really jumped out? I'm not saying. Um, yeah, there's. I mean, they're all good. Uh, Catch Me Daddy is particularly great. Uh, there's there's another film uh, called The Goob, which is extremely interesting uh, and definitely worth a look. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember them all now, but look, I mean, I think what people have to do is get that get that big booklet of great films and see what the nominated films are and what the newcomers are and go and check them out for themselves because I think it's really interesting for young people as well, people who want to get into the industry, to see what it is that's gone before them that they can they can take as a, a kind of a template or a benchmark of what what they could be looking at doing, what they can achieve because some of these films are made for very little money and just got a lot of talent, a lot of passion behind them and really sometimes they can be the key ingredients when when there's not a lot of resources you know uh it's been lovely to be part of of them both and um you know from uh, 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 sort of two there's there, there's similar themes in 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 both of these sort of outsiderly characters um looking for love um and it was and, and it was lovely being part of what felt at heart very british films um so yeah, it was a real joy.